Hey guys, it's Dogman, and welcome back to Banished. So, for people who have watched the previous episode, you will notice that we are actually in the future a bit. So I'm going to pause it so I don't keep getting notifications. But so basically all I did was I managed the crops a little bit and let things get built. So like, you know, I got the, f the food storage was here, but now I got the dry goods storage up. I built some lumber for it. Um, I let a few more houses get built. I'm trying to remember what else I did. I don't remember if this got built in the last episode, but... You know, I finished over here. So basically, I didn't add anything. All I did was let some time pass and manage my people a little bit. So as you'll see, we are low on stone a little bit. Or actually, tools. But so what I decided to do was use this, make the stone tools, because the wood ones weren't keeping up. And the other issue I have, which I realized, is I'm using way too many people on these farms. So we're going to run a test. Put everything down to one. So for this year... Oh, I don't know that. If you click this, it brings you to the, the person. Anyway, so for this year, where's this, there's the town. For this year, we're gonna have one person on each farm plot. We'll see how well that does. If it needs more, I'll put another one for next year, and so on until we reach a good level. I think these little ones probably only need one person. These big ones maybe get away with two. So the fact that I had, you know, 13 in total, I had five on each of these. I think was overkill. It's leaving, leading to food shortages. So the next thing I want to do... Actually... Uh, so I want to put up another farm. Because, like I said, I'm having food shortages. I can't put them on... Ooh, okay, I can't put them up there. I didn't know I could put them on the hill. That means put this house about here. I don't remember the size I made those farms, but ten by because this is all I held. Nothing's gonna go up here, so ten by twenty is okay. I'll do... I'm gonna do 10 by 10. Which is where? Is it there? Okay, and then actually I'm gonna move the house a little bit closer, because I don't want it... Uh, the house right about there. I can't put a path here, right? No. Dirt path there. I'll let people go at it. Here it is. Because I'm running low on food, so to fix that, I need more farms. So actually, what I can do, I guess I can. Drop the farmer count, put them towards other stuff. Forester, dock worker. I don't know if I want stone cutter. Or the wood cutter. How many do I have left? Three. Okay. Keep two foresters. I'm gonna keep it five because I know I'm gonna need more people on some of these. And then the next thing I'm gonna do too. is I had to start planning for candles. Because candles are going to be what I need to upgrade the mine. And it's already starting to get a little low, so I don't want to let the mine run out of stone before I uh, upgrade it. So for that, 
We actually need two things. We need an apiary. Which I was kind of hoping would fit in here. We could fit it here. Okay. Put the apiary right there. So I think that circle... Again, see, I'm not su surprised... Not surprised. I'm not sure. The purple circle. I think if it has more stuff in range, the better it does. But I'm not sure about that. Oop, audio cut out. So I need an apiary, and then the other thing I'll need is a. What is that? Chandlery? I don't know if that's how you say it. I'll put that right here, if it's perfect. So we finally got our tools back, which is nice. The thing is, I need to upgrade this. From it, to upgrade it, I need to stop using it. Because I think when I upgrade it, I can get two people in there. You see what I'm saying? about not needing that many people. I know they seeded the whole thing. We'll see what it looks like later in the year. But yeah, so I jumped ahead because I found it was kind of becoming just so repetitive. It was basically like, I'll put one building down and then wait. And wait and talk about it. You know, I would talk to you guys, but then nothing would happen. So then rather than just uh, keep having episodes where basically nothing happens. Oh, so I've been getting traders. But, you know, I don't have anything to trade, so. Just been dismissing them. So what I'll do too with the uh, the candles. You know, I'll, I'll use them for upgrading, but I don't think you really use them for much else, so will be what I trade with. <laughs> but to get back to my point, I didn't want it, the episode to just be like, okay, we're waiting for another season to finish, and then just waiting and waiting. Yeah, so I think these big ones are going to need maybe two people. I'll put a builder. Actually, I'm full on firewood and logs, which is nice. I haven't had that in a while. Oh, okay, so I'm going to be working on building a fence first. That's okay. The other thing I've got to start doing, too, is that I think I've got to start upgrading these houses to, uh, to stone. Because then they'll use less fuel, and I think they can store a little bit more food. Is that person yielding this field already? Wow. So the problem isn't the field fully growing, which I don't think this one did. Yeah, I think these bigger ones, I, I just need two people. Yeah. See, a lot fewer than, so I need 9 total rather than the, what was it, 15, 17, 19, 21 that I was using. So less than half as many farmers. Yeah, the builder's building the fences. That's okay. I don't think we're running out of stone anytime soon. Uh, The other thing I'm gonna have to consider too, you yeah, know, these tools are not doing well. That's good. I think the tools I'm struggling with tools because I keep taking the stone to build things. I mean, 
Unfortunately, these buildings here. So then what I'll do... Is in the winter... Make them stone cutters. So then we get a little bit more stone so we're... Not fully dying as much as we are. So the last thing that's in here I think is medicine. Oh, and so I did a little sneaky thing, I put the tool cellar here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a doctor's here, that's where I'll put the medicine. So I can get out of here and then the, that storage can finally be gone. Yeah, so it's we're surviving a little bit. Basically, what happened was I just kind of needed to let it run for a while, and just you know, basically let it cycle, and now we're doing a lot better. It's breaking the fence here. I actually kind of like that. So now we're cold. Why are we cold? Oh, okay. You just had to get the wood. But I found that, uh... So in the future, I think I'm going to be doing breaks between uh, episodes. And, you know, running it a little bit so I can kind of get it to a point where I can show you guys stuff rather than just me. Uh, doing the same thing over and over again. That's not what I want. I want this one down too. Back to farming. Um, the squash on that one. Uh, yeah, so I've been struggling with the tools. Actually, everything was going good for a while, but then I realized, like, I used all the iron ore to make iron, like the rough tools. Actually, I did. I still have some iron ore. Okay. Rough tools. But I used, like, all the iron ore in the area. Uh, that's why, because I've been telling them uh, to pick it up. Anytime I see something, I'm just going to keep doing it. And I know the obvious thing is, you know, if I use it all, that I won't have any to, especially like upgrade this. But I'm pretty sure. Actually, let me make sure of that right now. So that I'll be able to. Yeah, the iron and coal mine just needs wood. So when I'm ready to get the iron area online, I don't have to worry that there's no like iron out in the wilderness. I don't want that to be built. Good, he's working on the tools. That's my statue carver I don't need yet. See, the stone storage, I still need building supplies, so... That's not getting built. But I think these rough tools last a little bit longer. That's the whole benefit of making, like... Iron tools versus the wood tools, is they last longer. I need a farmer for that. So we have two trees to be taken down. Getting stone there. All good things. So, let's think about making a f another food storage here. I don't think I will. Along here, I think it's going to be uh, another thing I'll make along here. I guess I can plan it now. Let me see what it cost. Wood refining. Drying shack. Yep. Hold on. Oh, he has chickens. Oh. 
I don't have anything to trade with him. Let's pause it actually. I'm gonna put 100 logs in here and 100 firewood. Where is it? Firewood. 100. But I don't have anyone assigned to it until when well, we got nomads wise. Ah, oh, sex. <sighs> I gotta deny them. I don't have the tools yet. That's the tool problems I have, I can't take anyone else in. I keep thinking this is pause, because the pause is up here, but the pause would be down here. But yeah, I, I want to upgrade this soon, because, um... The upgraded lets you get two people. That's good for the sunflowers. It's still growing. Yeah, it's still growing. Okay, back to back to my where I was. The drawing shack would fit here. You can fit it here. Unless I do, I have the terraforming. There's a terraforming mod. Terraforming mod. But I don't like doing that too much because I know that can screw with the game. I think I'm just going to put it here. Because then I could put, uh, get the fish processed further. Which is good. Alright, so the key is going to be A, if, for farmers wise, A, if they can harvest it all, and B, that nothing's withering in here. I kind of wish that they would, uh, look, the ones that are done with here, I kind of wish they would go and then help this one. If they ever make a sequel, that's a good, uh, idea for it. Okay, tools are getting better because I got all that iron that I'm using. Looks like there's more over here. It was weird too, but I didn't realize the path as it goes through like the mountains. These are walls. Well, that's cool though. I think hindsight being what it was, I probably would have built a tunnel. But I think even if I get rid of this, there's still be this weird indentation. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Okay, so this is definitely going to need another person. See how it's starting to disappear? Okay, yes. It's definitely the next nomads will be taken in. I have enough jobs for them. I have temporary housing so they won't freeze to death. But yeah, so that's the good thing. We're in a good spot now. Food's okay, but as I get more nomads, I'll get start using these farms. That's almost full of stone. Everything's looking good. So I know, uh, so I've been doing actually, so I've been recording stuff kind of in blocks. Click that iron. Sorry, I, I keep getting distracted by. Look around the area for iron while I'm talking. But so I started recording 
things in batches now on my days off because I don't I don't put a lot of editing into it because I just don't have the time but so if I record a whole bunch on my day off I'm able to uh, you know do the quick editing basically cut out a couple things I don't like you know cut out sections of just me walking like in, when I'm doing satisfactory like the travel stuff I just cut that out and then I'm able to post uh, a little bit more regularly uh, these past couple of weeks that's what I've done which is why the I've actually had videos out for a while but I I find it's easier to do it on my uh, my days off and I kind of my days are weird and I kind of have a block of days off and then I work a bunch and then I have a a block of days off so that's why I uh, I've been trying to record in, in a batch and then I can kind of I've noticed every like two to three days has been kind of kind of working for me So that's how I'm gonna keep doing it. I try to do the satisfactory videos on the weekends and kind of the banish during the week. And then when we get to an end with banished, I have an idea on what I want to do next. But I have to just keep uh, keep watching to see that, see what comes next. But yeah, so. Doing a little bit better now. At this point, it's just kind of waiting for nomads. I don't, I don't like relying on nomads too much because it's like sudden j spikes in uh, populations rather than like gradually, uh, gradually increasing, which I think is better. But I don't think we're at the point where we can be very self-sustaining. Because I think I don't have enough kids growing up to replace the adults yet. So we'll just rely on nomads for a little bit longer. It's not a big deal. So we for them to remove those two trees, huh? Is my... Hmm. Maybe they're not, uh reachable. We'll see. If anything, if they can't clear this, then I'll just have a little little farm plot. Oh, sorry I keep yawning. So a little behind the scenes too. I know I just gave a whole bunch behind the scenes but talking about recording and all that, but I actually work overnights. So, oh, hit the headset, sorry. So I work overnight, so I'm actually recording this in the middle of the night. Because even on my days off, I still stay up all night. Kind of keep my, uh, my schedule normal. I don't know if normal is the right word, but consi consistent's the word I'm looking for. Food's low. Food's not bad, though. It's late summer. Okay, so we got our B area. The smoker here. I actually think I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna. I'll cut it here until I get more. Uh, get some more nomads. So I can get the farms go and get these things built and then I'll show you guys before the end of the episode so I'll be right back alright and we're back so we got the uh, as you can see here we got the bee was it the beekeepers or the apiary online we got a uh, guy making candles making different things so we got 
candle maker. I did make the uh, the drying shack. I just don't have anyone to put it in it yet. But we did. We got a batch of nomads. I think there were seven. Most of them were kids. I think it was three three adults and four kids. So I also built another house. But that'll is an eleven year old living by themselves. Huh. I guess it was a uh, a different time. But, uh, yeah, so we got our tools are nice and, uh, level. We're still pulling an iron ore to make the tools. The, the stone mine's getting a little low, but now I have, like I said, I have the apiary and the candles, so I can upgrade it, so that's all good. Uh, we're not starving to death, that's good. Maybe freezing to death a little bit, because there's no firewood. But... We have plenty of regular wood, so the person should get on that. But I think, actually, this is where I'm going to call it for today. And then, next time, I'm, we're going to um, work on housing. Is there candles yet? I don't see candles. We got beeswax, we don't have candles yet. So we're going to work on some housing along here and I'm going to put another farm here. I think part of the problem I'm having is people have to commute so far to work over in this area. They live, they live way over here. So I think if I build a house here, it'll be better. I think I might build a food storage here too. But for now, that is going to be it and I will see everyone later.